What's up guys, it's Koi from Gentleman Within, a channel dedicated to helping men dress better and feel their best. And in this video, we've got a brogue battle featuring Beckett Simonon versus Alan Edmonds. In one corner, we've got Alan Edmonds, a fan favorite. And in the other corner, we have the fast growing and relative newcomer, Beckett Simonon. So in this comprehensive review and brogue battle, we're gonna take a look at a few popular brogue styles out there right now, namely, the Allen Edmonds Strand in Walnut, the Allen Edmonds Fifth Avenue in Dark Chili, and finally, the Beckett Simonon Durant in Bordeaux. I'm gonna be comparing the shoes in terms of style and design, quality and craftsmanship, comfort and durability, shoe sizing and price, and then I'm gonna wrap things up with pros and cons of each shoe. We're just gonna jump right in. If you want history and wanna know a little bit more about the brands, and then you can head on over to my blog. I'll link that up there and down in the description for you. Time to set the stage for this broke battle. So Alan Edmonds was founded in 1922 in Belgium, Wisconsin. They are now currently based in Newport, Wisconsin, and they have factories in the U.S., Italy, and Dominican Republic. As for Beckett Simonon, they were founded 90 years later in 2012 in Bogota, Colombia. So they're based in Colombia, and they have factories in Colombia and Portugal. Now, gents, let's get ready to rumble. So let's start things off with the style and design of the Strand Captoe Oxford. And so it's built on the 65 last, also known as the five last. And a last is basically a foot mold that helps give the shoe its shape. So the Strand is a semi or half brogue, which is distinguished by all this decorative punching here. And it's even got some extra embellishment there with the medallion. It's an Oxford shoe and it's also got closed lacing. It's also known as a Balmoral. And it's this closed lacing that makes it a bit more formal than its derby counterpart. Although the Allen Edmonds Strand comes in a myriad of colorways, I opted for the bold yet versatile walnut or cognac shade. I love that it stands out without screaming. It's a much lighter brown shade and color that can work with everything from dress slacks to khakis and rolled up dark wash denim. I go as far as to say that these are the perfect smart casual shoes. Next up, we got the Allen Edmonds Capto Fifth Avenue. This one is in a dark chili colorway. And instead of a semi brogue of the strand, it's only a quarter brogue. And so it's only got that perforation there across the cap toe. The rest of the shoe is pretty darn clean. So just like the strand, the Fifth Avenue silhouette is timeless. They're built on the same last. And so they're gonna look identical with exception to the broguing and the color. And I opted for this classic dark chili colorway. And I like how it's got this burnishing down towards the cap toe. Overall, I'd say it's more of a mid brown with dark brown undertones. Similar to the AE strand, the Fifth Avenue is just as versatile due to its sleek shape and color. I'd say that it's a level up in terms of formality due to less broguing and a darker brown shade. And this is what makes them perfect to be dressed up with gray or a brown Prince of Wales check suit or woolen trousers or even dark wash jeans. The Beckett Simonon Durant Oxford style and design. It's strikingly similar to the design of the Allen Edmonds Strand and the Fifth Avenue. In fact, it looks almost identical. And so I'd say they're on a pretty similar last. The Durant is also a semi or half brogue just like the Strand. The only difference is that the Durant has slightly less broguing along the leather upper. And I went for a Bordeaux or Oxblood colorway. It's just a really beautiful color that's rich and vibrant. Bordeaux is essentially a dark shade of red or burgundy S. It has hues of dark brown and subtle hints of purple in there as well. As with Ellen Edmonds, the Durants are also primed to be worn with smart casual outfits. So you can rock them with dress pants, chinos, or even jeans. So who wins style and design? I'd have to say that it's a tie. If it came down to a variety of styles and models, AE would win hands down. They've been in the game for over 90 years and so they've had time to build out their collections. However, when it comes to the style and design of the Strand Fifth Avenue versus the Durant, I'd have to call them equals because the shoe silhouettes are so similar. I'm almost inclined to tip the scale in favor of Beckett Simonon's Durant here, but since Ellen Emmons comes first, let's call it a draw. Time to talk quality and craftsmanship. So when it comes to men's dress shoes, the quality and craftsmanship of the shoe is just as important as the style and design. The key is to find a pair that's gonna last you for years or even decades to come. So let's start off first with Allen Edmonds. As mentioned earlier, both the Strand and Fifth Avenue are built on the welted 65 last and they remain in the last for over 24 hours. So the shoe is gonna keep its shape for a lifetime. They're completely leather lined and feature a small cutout on the inner left side of the right shoe where the Allen Edmonds logo is stitched. In addition to their imported leathers, they also source leathers from the Horween factory in Chicago. For a quick quality control check, there are some noticeable loose threads here and there on the shoes, which is kind of surprising to me because they really take pride in their quality control and while it's not the worst thing, it shows that there was some oversight there. As for the leather, they were clean, no blemishes on them at all. All Allen Edmonds shoes also come with a complete 360 Goodyear welt, which means that it's stitched completely around the entire shoe. 
so it's much better than, it, say, a cemented shoe, and it's a lot more durable. A Goodyear well also makes it a lot easier to recraft the shoe when it comes time, and it also provides a little bit more water resistance than other types of well. Shoes also come with a cork midsole that's in between the outsole and the insole. And so if you go to any LNM's brick and mortar store, their sales reps are trained to basically tell you about this cork insole that it's gonna mold to your feet over time. That's gonna give you a more custom and comfortable fit over the long run. And it turns out that the cork does indeed mold to your feet over time. To the Beckett Simonon quality and craftsmanship, Beckett Simonon shoes, they're handmade one by one with Argentinian full grain leather. And to be honest, I can't really tell the difference between the leather of Beckett Simonon versus Ellen Edmonds. They're both about the same thickness, same softness, and the same suppleness. And so it's very hard to tell the difference. If there is one slight distinction is that I noticed the shoes of the Durant's crease a little bit quicker than the Allen Edmonds and the Fifth Avenues. Considering I've had my AEs for three and four years now compared to my Durant's for about four months and the Durant's have a little bit more visible creasing than both of the other shoes. Creasing isn't bad by any means just comparatively speaking. Like the Strand and Fifth Avenue the Durant's are fully leather lined with soft full grain leather for extra breathability and just like the AEs they're also equipped with durable rubber heels for extra grip and so shoes with all leather bottoms are extremely slippery and wet conditions so adding that rubber heel definitely does help. For a quality control check they do extremely well with their QC. I did not notice. I didn't see any visible loose threads or anything. No scuff marks at all and so they did an extremely good job with the QC. There's one little detail worth mentioning. The brogues are kind of like fraying out a bit which the Allen Edmonds are kind of laying flat and so I don't know if that's just their technique and the way that it's the shoes designed but there is a little bit of fraying on the brogues which isn't a huge deal but it's just a small detail that I noticed. Are Beckett Simonon's Goodyear welted? No they are not. They are actually Blake stitched and so the difference between Goodyear and Blake. Blake stitched shoes tend to be a little bit sleeker but also so a little bit less durable and waterproof. Blake stitch soles are also able to be recrafted just like Goodyear welts. However, it's a lot harder, so you're gonna need a machine to stitch these shoes, whereas Goodyear welt you can do by hand. The Durants also have the cork midsole just like the Strand and Fifth Avenue. So it's gonna mold to your feet over time. And there's a little bonus leather cushion there too as well, whereas the Allen Edmonds don't have that cushion. For the winner of quality craftsmanship, I'd have to give it to Allen Edmonds, but only by the slightest of margins. So they've been in the game for over 90 years. And for the most part, they've upheld a reputation of high quality shoes that are crafted to you know, the highest of standards. But by no means is Beckett Simonon a slouch here, and so really close, but I gotta give the edge to Ellen Edmonds because they've just been in the game for a lot longer. Let's jump in with comfort and durability. And so the key to comfort is fit, and Ellen Edmonds has a leg up when it comes to providing the perfect fit because AE offers an extensive range of shoe sizes and shoe widths, everything from the very narrow triple E to the standard D width to the extra wide triple E, whereas Beckett Simonon only has one standard D width. In terms of durability, both my Strand and Fifth Avenues held, have held up extremely well over the course of three and four years. I haven't polished or cleaned them up much at all. There's scuffs and streak marks that inevitably occur with regular wear, though I'd say that they definitely are ready for a shoe shine any day now. But I'm super impressed with how little creasing that there is on these shoes. So it goes to show that their leather quality is super on point. And I haven't had my Beckett Simonon Durant's for nearly as long, however, the leathers and the shoes holding up really well over double digit wears and I've actually ran around the block in these shoes as well. There is that minimal creasing here but it's not an ugly crease you know it's a nice clean crease. Comfort and durability winner I'd say that it's a tie. All three shoes are pretty comfortable right out of the box and get even more comfortable over time because of that custom cork midsole. When it comes to sizing both brands run true to size. I was in the AE store and they fitted me for my shoes. They said that I was a size eight, which is a little bit loose on me. And so if I were to get shoes now, I would be 7.5. I also got eights for my Durant's, which I would have gotten 7.5 as well, but they don't carry seven and a half, but they carry eight and a half through 11 and a half, but they are true to size. And so whatever your normal dress shoe size or your boot size is, get that size. Shoe sizing winner hands down is Ellen Edmonds as they offer a wider variety of shoe sizes and shoe widths. I say Becca Simonon could benefit from at least 
adding a extra wide shoe size because you can't just size up or else the shoe is going to be too long. As for the price, most Allen Edmonds Oxfords retail for $3.95, which isn't cheap by any means. However, they can be found on sale for up to 50% off. I got my Fifth Avenues around $200 during their Rediscover America sale, which is one of their most popular sales of the year. And I got the strands from Nordstrom's for around $250, I believe. Keep in mind that you can shop Allen Edmonds Factory Seconds at a fraction of the cost, caveat being that they have blemishes that are both invisible and visible to the eye. As for Beckett Simonon's price, they're one of the best bang for your buck shoes out there on the market. Coming in at $199 year round, that makes them a steal, I think. And if it's your first time buying from them, there are codes out there that you can get additional 20% off. And they also run flash sales pretty often, which you can get two pairs for $319, which is a really good deal. Beckett Simonon, hands down. It's basically half the price of Allen Edmonds for basically the same quality. No review would be complete without the smell test and the Durant's smell extremely good that fresh new leather smell and my AEs also still have that fresh leather smell because I use shoe trees and it just keeps it smelling fresh year-round all in all I think it's a really addictive smell you know as weird as that sounds but I like it before we wrap things up let's get into some of the pros and cons Allen Edmonds pros is that they have a wide variety of styles and colorways over 50,000 lasts in over 20 different shapes lengths and widths they carry a myriad of shoe widths for all types of foot shapes and sizes over 78 locations and so you can visit to get fitted in person and they also have factory seconds that are available at outlet stores across the country. As for the cons, there are potential quality control issues because of the high volume of orders that they fulfill every day. Retail value is double the price of Beckett Simonon shoes and the Made in America is slightly misleading because they have factories overseas. As for the Beckett Simonon pros and cons, some of the pros, they are much more affordable than competitors with similar styles and quality. There's a full one-year warranty offered against defects in materials and workmanship. There's a wide variety of dress shoe styles and colorways to choose from, free shipping and returns in the United States, and the dress shoe aesthetics are sleek and sexy. As for the cons, there's a lengthy three month wait period that's not for everyone. Certain products come and go without mention or notice, and there's no brick and mortar locations, and so you can't just visit a store and get fitted. All right, so I'm gonna wrap things up and ultimately make my pick. I would say if you have the budget and don't have the patience to wait three months, go for Allen Edmonds. However, if you wanna save $150 or so, and are willing to wait three months, then definitely go with Beckett Simonon. Allen Edmonds, definitely worth it. It's a classic shoe. They've been around for a very long time, and so they're proven. However, I would never buy them at full price because they always have sales, and so definitely wait for a sale, buy it for 100, 150, maybe even $200 off. As for Beckett Simonon, definitely one of my favorite shoe brands as of the moment. They are offering a wide variety of just really beautiful looking shoes that are crafted with high quality materials and sourced sustainably. And so definitely I think Beckett Simonon is well worth it as well. All right, there you have it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, please consider subscribing, put out new videos like this weekly. That's all I got for this video. Cheers to your style and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.